anything that I listen to, I'll put behind the video and everything so you guys can hear it too. So this song is called Chasing Self by Polar Nights and it's so good. It inspired me to start writing again. I haven't written anything in about a month, I think, because I was just not really feeling that good about it. I was not really inspired by it because I've been filming. One of the things I'm realizing now is that I have a difficult time kind of having passion for multiple things at once, but film is the one that I wanted to start focusing on for so many years and now I'm finally doing it. So I actually, so for the most part, whenever I start writing something, I write on actual paper. I'll write down notes and all of the things, I'll, I'll pretty much do a mind up of every scene I see in my head. And even if it ends up with dialogue and everything, like I will straight up start the scene. It won't be formatted or anything, but the idea is to just get it out on paper. So important because when you're thinking about your story, the very first time you're thinking about it is when it's the most vibrant, when you need to get it out on paper because those are your great ideas. Those are the things that inspired you in the first place. I need to play it. <laughs> it's like, it's like maybe refresh this because I can't hear it. Um, is it gonna play? Please play. I need this to be behind my music. I'm so inspired right now. So. Um, let's use this boom. So I'm listening to this song, right? This beginning beat was just like that kind of like almost breathy sort of beginning. Just had me thinking about a road trip. And then I'm picturing this almost kind of grungy girl, like, like woman, but girl kind of, you know, like um, she's just sitting in the back of a truck. It's a close-up of this girl. She's looking directly at the camera, it feels like. She might not be, but that's what it looks like, that she's looking directly at the camera. And over the this entire beginning, like the entire essential 30 seconds, it's pulling out. And eventually it leads to a wide shot, and we can see that she's sitting in the back of a truck on a deserted interstate. There are trees all around, and there's literally nobody. It's kind of quiet, but it feels dead. It feels literally like there's nothing. Throughout the song, uh, we see the B-roll. We see, we see the endless trees. We see the car, the we see the truck. I'm imagining drone shots and everything. The music turns into diegetic music, which is music that is heard by the characters it essentially becomes the radio, right? I want to go with, um, okay, so first off, it's exterior. Um, it'll be daytime when we first see it, and we will say uh, deserted interstate. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... I'm gonna work on a deserted interstate going God knows where. Let's see. Okay. Actually, okay, so if the first time that someone um the first time that someone shows up you need to make it capitalized. And typically we would put like a description here, but I'm not gonna do that because I honestly kind of can't right now because I don't know what she really looks like. I mean, I I kind of did, I, like she has like some sort of distress <laughs> and emotional trauma. So maybe her face is dirty, emotional trauma, maybe she'd been crying, maybe like, you know, it just looks like she is miserable. That's the idea, because she is, because they are in this world where there are these creatures that are, um, I, th I have to change a little detail because they would be a lot more, whoa, that's actually really creepy. Okay, so, so 
we can okay so we'll get it's cleanse into we'll get we'll get there we'll get there okay so go cleanse into Don't smoke cigarettes. Oh boy, no, not cute. Cigarettes are not cute, but she smokes. So, okay. Back on music. It is now diegetic. I don't know. I Not dietetic. Diegetic. Dietetic. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's something that you write in a screenplay. I'm not sure if it is, but it's a note that I definitely want to make because I will absolutely forget that, I feel like. Um... It's clear she doesn't approve. Woman, oh, actually, no, I, I, I already, I make this clear. Woman snatches the cigarette away and lights it herself. I like that. You had one already, ripped away. <laughs> Nobody's getting ripped apart. Yeah, well, it's better than getting ripped apart. Nobody's getting ripped apart. We haven't. Her. Mm -mm -mm. No. Nobody's getting ripped apart. Uh, in a while. Exactly. Girl lights another cigarette. Ah, no, actually, she's not going to do that. They're going to share because this is not where you can't just like buy cigarettes, you know? <laughs> this is not that kind of world. So nobody's getting ripped apart. We haven't seen one in a while. Exactly. Exactly. I love that. She inhales and leans her head against the window, against the door. Nobody wants to lean it against the window. Like, what is she gonna make herself vulnerable to these things that I'm gonna punch through? I don't know. Okay, so women shares with her are defeated by the sad and scary truth. Mm, no, that's not true. Okay, so, ah, and now it's cut. Now we cut. Okay, so external day, same place. I mean, kind of. Um, we'll say Interstate 2. Dusk matters. When you're writing out a scene where it's like, uh, where you're trying to figure out a time of day, the time of day doesn't necessarily matter unless it matters. You know what I mean? If it has to be shot at dusk, because of the scene, right dusk, because it is something that the, that when you are making it, then you'll, you'll notice, okay, yes, that time does matter. I can't shoot this at any time. I can't shoot this at 12. This is specifically dusk because what I'm imagining is orange turning to blue. I'm not sure where that's going to go yet, but I, it, dusk matters. Okay. So then it's dusk. Uh, the wheels of the truck go round and round. The wheels of the truck slow to a stop. Oof. Girl. Girl jerks awake. Woman's eyes are widened. And she stares for Close herself up. She sees what woman sees. Hmm. There it is.
Okay, so um, both both women concerned. Concerning plans. Yeah, um, I'll find this. Yep. Okay, so one thing I'm not sure of is if I'm supposed to put, if it takes place in a car if I'm supposed to put it in a car, you know what I mean? Like this isn't a scene itself because this kind of goes from inside the truck to outside the truck. So maybe that's some, that's a note that I need to kind of keep in mind. But anyway, so, so at this moment, they are outside the truck. They see the pale man. Um, <sighs> uh, it's terrifying. Okay. Ooh, that's terrifying. Do you think there are more? Yup. Because they are slowly, okay. And then also if you have a character that continues uh, speaking, if they were the last person to speak, you wanna write continued because then it's just better for the actor to read. Don't turn away from him. Don't which strain, stain. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure which way to go with this. Um, I want these creatures to be really difficult to defeat, which is why both of them are extremely nervous right now. And, and we also have to remember that he can track them. He's a tracker. So maybe they're kind of like trackers. Mm, I like that. I like that they're trackers. So it's kind of like when you, there's a, there's a bee, I believe, a, a certain wasp or a certain bee that if you kill one, then all of their family will swarm you. And it's because that scent, the bee's scent um, is left on your clothes or on whatever it was that killed it. And all of them will follow that. They kind of feel this sense. So there's some sort of bee. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure which one it is. So that is the vibe I'm going with with these creatures, with the trackers, I guess, is that, well, I mean, not all of them are trackers, I don't think. Maybe, maybe all of them are trackers in some way, but maybe it's like, that's the power. It's like, if you kill one, more than likely, many will follow. There we go. Bam. I know, but so will he. Kind of like, he's a tracker. He, he's going, he knows now who they are. Maybe it's some sort of, uh, maybe that he has some sort of, I don't know. No, it's some sort of knowing. He knows now who they are. He knows their scent. He knows where they'll be. So it'll be a lot easier for him to kill them. What happens, pale creature? What happens? What happens with you? Um, takes another step forward. Mm. 